welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be reviewing an application or a software named Astrofox. So, what is Astrofox? It's a software that was created so you can make visualizations for your audio or your music. And it is free and open source. I will put the link in the description for you to check out. I have all been making awesome videos with this. I've also made my recent videos with this. So, I think many people love that. Like, so am I. Like, AI is cool, but uh, this one right here gives you like, so much control. I've been trying AI websites for you know, making visualizations, but I don't think their control suffice, or maybe because I'm just a free user. Okay, with that out of the way, let's start. This right here is where they would uh, show the result of the video, or the, 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 these layers you fill, you fill out, and this is whether you want to see the audio, the line like a spectrum or is this just the waveform and this one is if you want it to constantly play itself so you don't have to click restart and slide it back to the beginning this is the play button this is the stop button and this is to control the mode usually if you are also listening to music and editing at the same time well if your PC is much better than mine I'm sure you can do it now, let's take a look at this. This is the layers. So there is scene 1, next one, core spectrum, and image. This image right here will be put in the background, so don't uh, make a mistake of um, putting the icon right here. Or you can just, if you did that very same mistake, you can just move it up here. Another image like image to it would be down below the text and the bar spectrum. And then, as you can see, the bar spectrum control here is um, pretty advanced, like editing your own music. Accessible with uh, frequency and max frequency. If you want the, uh, the wave bar to look full and like big, and it's not just showing up in the right corners but the left corner of the video like mine I suggest you set this minimal frequency to like keep this zero and keep this 5000 and keep the smoothing to minimal even lower than 0 0.5 if you want it to look more active this way it really just moves and moves but be aware though that this may cause the rendering to take longer time or even skew your view that you are trying to like balance everything out. Don't forget to save it to the AFX in case you want to use the same format again. You have like an uniformed um, audio visualizer like mine. Check out my videos, Peter. But I played those visualiz visualizations with this. And this is as well my first paper. Next. Um, what else? Now let's take a look at the file. Get up a new project, save project. Do make it clear so that the same video and the same project is not the same. If you want to. Uh, export the video, you better fix the video. This is canvas and settings. This is how if you want how you want to apply. Do you want to hide this control or this or this or this? You can click on this. And then this is the views. This can help. If this is also not what it does. And this help. Oh yeah, just click on this about and check for about for who gave it. What like this? Well, this is me. Thank you, my channel. Thank you. Click up here. Check for updates. You can redirect it to the to the website. 
And later, let's take a look at these little icons right here. This one is to delete an element from the layer. For example, boom, no more even. And this is to move the layer down. This one is to move the layer up. And this one is to choose effects and displays. This is what you want to use. If you want to make your video look like this cool and modern vibes, but I haven't used it that much, so uh, you know I make videos like something from the days of the And this is the same thing, but directly to the displays. Film free content just using the sparse spectrum image text. This is like the tree I use the most. I just recently started to use the geometry. <laughs> but if you like spin your hand and your creativity and you have a powerful enough device you'll be able to paste something that's like crazy. Okay, let's try that. And this is if you want to add another scene, like the one to match your video in front of the another. And this would work very good if the layers of your video is like a lot. So there's the low layer where it's just like shapes and you want to add visualization. And then the last thing, usually like the icon and the title of the audio, you can make it look the same. But because the videos I made are very simple, I don't actually require this scene too. So, what do you think? Tell me in the comments. And don't forget to check out my video and the website of this software because this is just highly recommended. Okay, I think that's all for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time with next video or in your release.